there, crafters. It is Palm Sunday, and there are a lot of fantastic Palm Sunday crafts. Today, we're going to make two potential Palm Sunday crafts, but again, there's a whole host of options for you to celebrate this fun start of Holy Week. Now, the first craft we're going to do today is a donkey hand puppet, because we're talking about how Jesus came riding in on a donkey into Jerusalem. And so we're going to look at that fun part of things with a donkey puppet. So we're going to start off with your classic good old fashioned paper bag. And this is going to be the base of our puppet. And we're going to use some extra paper to kind of go around it. Now, if you want to get real creative with this, you could also have your donkey wear a coat. I mean, he didn't exactly wear a coat, the coats were on the ground, but mm, it's just kind of extra fun. So we're gonna start off by cutting some donkey legs. We're gonna do these with brown paper. And you can also make some ears. Now, was this a brown donkey? Was it a gray donkey? I mean, we're not really sure. Bible doesn't give us all those details, but today it's brown because that's what we got. So I'm going to give him four legs, as donkeys have, and we're going to give him a couple of nice long ears. Of course, not to be confused with bunny ears, which are kind of similar, but we're going to snip out some ear shapes out of my brown paper. And to add to the effect, we're going to also put some pink inside of the brown. I don't know why exactly. I mean, I guess it kind of looks pink. I don't know. To me, it's not really pink pink, but it's just the effect of sort of kind of pinkish. So we've got those parts. I'm going to put those together on my donkey. I'm going to do a little bit of kind of just make it look sort of like... He's got some hooves here. Got some shading on the bottom of those legs. And kind of create that effect. And now I'm going to put my ears together. So I'm going to glue that pink inside part to the inner part of the ear. It's going to even make it look more bunny-like, but we'll, we'll try to avoid that. So, here we go. And one more donkey-ish element that's kind of fun is we're going to add some teeth. And I cut just a little square because, you know, you kind of get that impression like donkeys have teeth. Again, rabbits do too. Please do not confuse this with a rabbit. This is most definitely a donkey. But I mean, I guess if you wanted to make a rabbit, it could almost work there too. But anyway, so we are going to give him some eyes, which I'm just going to draw on the eyes. You are also welcome to uh, use like googly eyes or something like that. And gonna give him a little donkey nose. It's not that kind of looks more like a pig nose. It's supposed to be a donkey snout ish, sort of. Um, clearly, I don't know my donkeys very well. And we're gonna give him a smiley face because this is a happy donkey. He gets to carry the Messiah. That's pretty cool. And we'll give him. Actually, you know, I guess instead of like the buck teeth, he would do better with having some nice, a big grin with like the big donkey teeth. I think that's a little better. So I'm going to give him those nice donkey teeth. And now we'll add on those other elements. So we're going to put some glue on those legs. And we'll just glue that to the inside of the paper bag. And there's his little donkey legs. And 
Grinch. Give him his little donkey ears. It looks like he wants to give you a giant hug. Um, and then we will add a verse so we know why we have this random bunny looking donkey. It's not a bunny because it's a donkey. And like one of his ears point up, one of his ears point down, or you can make them both point up or you do it however you want your donkey to be, of course. Again, very open to fun options. <clears throat> and we're going to give him a little verse caption. Again, if you want to make him wearing a cape or a cloak or a leaf, you could absolutely do that. And we're going to say something like Jesus rode a donkey into Jerusalem. And if you really want to get fun and festive with this in the Palm Sunday theme, you could even have your donkey, I mean, you know, again, not quite accurate to what the story is going, but you could have your donkey hold a palm branch. So we're gonna cut a giant leaf. We're gonna make it look palm-ish here. And we're gonna have our donkey holding a little palm branch because it's Palm Sunday. Um, and then your reference, you can use any of the, I'm not gonna put an exact reference because there are several, uh, really all the gospels speak of this event. So you could use any of those for your Palm Sunday reference. Um, or you could also just use Mark because that's one of our focuses this year. But there you have a fun, festive donkey reminder. Also could work for the story of Balaam. There's our donkey puppet. So pretty simple, but that's craft number one. Craft number two, we're going to make a tambourine to celebrate that this is kind of like a parade and an excitement that Jesus is coming into town. We are celebrating that it's Holy Week. We are celebrating Jesus. So we're gonna make a fun little instrument. I've got a couple of bowls. You could also use paper plates or cups, just two of something relatively sturdy. And we're going to put some noisemakers inside these. I am going to use beans. You could also use rice. You could use beads. You could use macaroni. Any kind of, you know, dry thing that's going to clink together and make some fun noise. So, let's put a few of those in there. And um, I'm going to put some streamers in because that's fun and just kind of makes it look extra festive. And here we go. So the first thing I'll do is I'll put my streamers in and I will put my plates or bowls or whatever together. And today I'm going to use tape I very strongly recommend that you use staples. Truth be told, I moved a few weeks ago. I still have not quite unpacked my stapler. The thing is, we're gonna repaint this office and well, it's a long story, but I don't have my stapler today, just being completely honest. So you could use tape if you don't have a stapler, but staplers are probably more secure, provided you get them all the way around and don't have any gaps where the stuff inside is gonna just leak out. But again, you could also use tape. Staples preferred, disclaimer. So I've got my streamers, I've got my beans. I'm gonna add some decorations to this. So I'm gonna throw in some fun little gems just because they're a little festive. Um, I also think it's fun since of course it's Palm Sunday. Um, I'm going to put some leaves or rather paper in the shape of leaves around the outside. Now I can stick these in between and the sides there and staple those together or I could have them glued or taped to the sides. Um, 
or just kind of right on top or however you'd like your leaves to be fun and prominently featured here and um, again that's kind of up to you how you want your leaves to look I mean again these also don't really look like palm branch leaves but kind of get the idea it's Palm Sunday we're close we're kind of close um, and then you can either write directly on here or you can also put some stickers um, let's throw on some stickers because everything looks better with stickers and then you could write directly on here or you could put a little verse or caption on a piece of paper and attach that to your maraca or uh, tambourine whatever it is uh, so I'm going to write Hosanna because that's what the people shouted and I'm gonna write Jesus saves but you can make it more elaborate again put it on a piece of paper do whatever works for you and then we have a fun noisemaker everyone likes a noisemaker except for parents on their way home from Sunday school um, oh also if you wanted to you could add a stick and you could put this on a stick to make it like more something you could wave but you also run the risk of it flying off the stick not good so this is more tambourine like because you can tap it or you can shake it or however you want to do so it's a fun way to get creative um, you can add your again add your leaves add your palms on here have your little streamers on the side you could cover this with foil around the edge is another fun twist that seals it and gives it sort of an extra um, decoration look so do whatever works for you whatever is fun for you and for your students glue it staple it tape it secure it um, and you've got your celebration noisemaker celebrating Palm Sunday celebrating Jesus celebrating whatever you want to celebrate um, so have fun have a blessed start to your Holy Week and Palm Sunday and make some crafts make some disciples have a wonderful week and we will see you next time